A few months ago, I posted a video about a bizarre complication after wisdom tooth surgery, and it got a lot of views, like a surprising number of views. I had quite a few requests to post a video of the surgical removal of the growth. So, loyal followers of the open reduction, here it is, the removal of the bizarre growth. If you haven't yet, check out the first video, Bizarre Complication After Wisdom Tooth Surgery. Here's a quick recap. A patient came in for a routine wisdom tooth surgery, did fine for a few days, but then returned after a week with an unexpected growth at the surgical site. I took a look and this is what I saw. Yeah, it was a surprise. In the first video, I go over the differential, the workup, and the treatment, so check it out if you have any questions. Let's get to the surgical removal of this lesion. After administering local anesthesia, I use a rongeur forcep to go in for the lesion. Here's the moment you've been asking for. You can see there's a substantial amount of blood within the lumen of this lesion. Here it is right before I place it in the specimen cup for pathology. I thoroughly curated all granulation tissue. Next, I irrigate the site. I placed three gel foams in the site. After holding firm pressure, I close the site primarily using interrupted sutures. Here is the final closure. It's watertight and hemostatic. Thanks so much for watching. Please click the like and subscribe buttons. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on The Open Reduction.